Casey, of course, is with Hangold Capital Management. And, uh, Casey, we're into fall now. And uh, it's one of those times, it's that point in the year where you can kind of take a look at where your finances stand right now and maybe try to do something about problems between now and the end of the year. Yeah, so it may be looking at, uh, do you have the ability to ramp up your savings before year-end? Can you get on track to start saving for a Roth IRA? What can you do with a catch-up with your 401k? Are you ready to deal with the holidays? Also, you know, a few times a year we talk about tracking your overall wealth. A net worth statement is a good way to do that. And really, a net worth statement is it's a statement where you get a bottom line number. It's a form of analysis that gives you a good snapshot of your financial well-being. Yeah, the one number you need to know exactly where you stand and to compare to last year, maybe. It might be comparing to last year. It may be comparing to six months ago, five years from now. The key is doing this on a regular basis so you can see progress. And to build a net worth statement, essentially what you're looking at is you're looking at your assets, you're looking at your debts. It's your assets minus your debts. The difference between those two numbers is the bottom line number. And at the end of the quarter here, this is a good exercise, good time to do this, because you're going to get those statements. They're going to have those asset values from checking, brokerage, college savings accounts, retirement accounts, and maybe the mortgage as well as far as those debts goes. This is a good time to be able to do this and put this together. So you add them up, you add up your assets, you subtract your debts, and that's your number. That's right. And if you want a good spreadsheet to do this, there's a website called vertex42.com. It's V-E-R-T-E-X, the number 42.com. They've got some free spreadsheets on there. They're great to use. They have a net worth statement. You can put it, you can download it, plug in the numbers, save it in your system on a regular basis, and look within the numbers as well. Look within those details to see if you're making progress. See if those student loans are going down. See if those asset values are going up. More than just the bottom line number, you can start to see activity and see if you're making progress on many different fronts.